supposed to enter into this contest is by Model Model, obviously, and it's a part of their cocktail wig series, which means it can be worn as a hat wig or as a ponytail. Yes, y'all, two in one. Here's a few pictures of me wearing gin and tonic as a ponytail. Gotta get that. And now, this is me wearing her as a half wig. Right now, you can see I'm wearing her with a nice white cap. Now, I'm going for a more sophisticated look, and I put the white little headband around it, like for an Indian look. And, right here, I'm rocking it with an orange headband. Here's a side view of me with the orange headband. But wait, I don't stop there. Here's me rocking gin and tonic with the headband and a clip. Yes, I pinned her up and she looks terrific. Here's a few pictures of her pinned up with the clip. Orange headband and orange clip. What do you ladies think? I told y'all that imagination can go very far and you can do a whole bunch of things when it comes to Model Model. This is still gin and tonic, y'all. Yes, still gin and tonic. But I pinned her up into a nice little coin. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Hey y'all, it's me Shay, and I'm here to let you guys know that with a paddle brush and some creativity, you can go very far, especially when it comes to a little brush. As you can see, I'm still wearing Jimmy Cotton. All I did was turn her around. Yes, I learned this way upside down. Yes. All I did was leave my hair on the side. I pulled it up, and now I have a left side of my hair up to the season. This is gin and tonic, y'all. Do not limit yourself when it comes to these moto moto wigs because they are very versatile and you can do a whole bunch of different styles. Would you believe I took gin and tonic off? I twisted her around. I have this wig on sideways and it's still look good. I left a little bit of my hair out. I pushed it aside. This is how it looks on the side. And this is how it looks on the back. I look on the side. Gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta get 